Okay, that was a hot and, and sunny day. So I opened up the back uh, door and I just uh, made a test and it again started to and then I turned off uh, the power and then it did start to 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 go. Uh, so here, yes, I did pull uh, the, the, the code. Uh, I did remove all the, uh, no, that's here. Uh, all the I2C testing stuff. So, uh, and I will uh, make a pull request for this. So here it's uh, a 13 uh, uh, volt uh, coming from a, a step down that's making only 15 amps and here I've set it to 26 volt and 0.5 amps. And here the my original, uh, here's uh, my Gen 2.X with battery cell 7. It's making here the spin, the test forward. So max uh, 0.5 amp was enough to make them spin uh, with uh, 300 PVM forward and backward. Now uh, here that's a power button fully on. And then I <laughs> will, uh, power it so he was good and you see here again uh, and then it stops yeah and now now it's working uh, making quite a lot of noise here these are the hole sensors I guess blinking in speed but uh, that's not uh, uh, let's turn it off again so here I simply uh, will flash uh, my firmware again yeah oh no no target connected yeah i have to power it on uh, so here now it's oh yeah that's not nice um, uh, how can i flash it yeah no it did succeed okay and uh, turn it off and then we should have yeah you see that's how Block commutation should work. So there's definitely something wrong with the uh, hall pins or the face pins. Uh, and I think that's if we, it should run that smoothly. And then I think uh, maybe also the debug mode <laughs> will work. But I'm very happy for this test setup here. And yeah. Bye-bye.